Hey there, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson here again live from Bluefield. We're at Bowen Field tonight and we're talking West Virginia Day. We're also talking the start of summer, which is also today. What other way to celebrate both of those than to come out now and watch some baseball? We've got the Bluefield Ridge Runners, of course, taking on the Johnson City Doughboys tonight at 630. So the game's getting ready to start pretty soon. And we were just hearing them talk about the concessions because it's West Virginia Day. They're giving away the Mothman special. You can get you a pepperoni roll. You can get you that Mountain Dew. Some of the West Virginia favorites, as we know. And again, the weather is actually pretty nice. It could be worse. I will say that the humidity has backed off a little bit since earlier in the week. Rain chances stay slim. We're not talking about much of a chance of rain at all through game time. It's just going to be a little warm when that sun is directly out. Right now, we've got some clouds blocking it off. It feels better in the shade. Make sure you're staying cool and hydrated if you are heading out this evening for any kind of festivities. Let's talk about the weather in a little bit more detail here. Again, if we look at our satellite and radar, not much on it, just a few clouds from time to time. And as we head into the evening, again, not much is going to change. Temperatures today have been warm. As you can see, we're still sitting in the 80s for some. We had some low 90s on the board earlier, especially out toward the coal fields west of I-77. And here's why this is happening. If we look at our pressure system, we've got this high pressure system that's going to stay with us over the next couple of days, hovering there. So that forces the air down. It warms, it compresses, it dries out. So it's it's going to feel very hot, a little bit more humid at times as we head toward the weekend, especially Friday into Saturday. Then you'll notice that that pressure drops a little bit on that chart into early next week. So that means we could get a little bit of a cool down, maybe a few showers and storms, but it still doesn't look like enough of a drop for widespread rain. So we're going to be dry for quite some time. Let's take a close look at future cast in a little bit more detail. And you can see this kind of play out again overnight tonight, warm, most of us hovering in the 60s. As we head into the uh, morning hours tomorrow, we're going to be warm to start and we're going to be straight hot by the afternoon. We should push into the 80s and 90s. Plenty of sun on tap for Friday. Just a very slim chance of a stray shower. Most of us won't see any rain again tomorrow. It's just going to be hot. Crank that AC. And make sure you're taking breaks as you need to do so. As we head further into the weekend, too, Saturday, just as hot back in the 80s, back in the 90s. That sweltering heat kind of stays with us for the majority of the weekend. We're still going to be hot on Sunday as well. And if we look at our drought monitor, unfortunately, because of this lack of rain, our entire area now abnormally dry according to our u.s drought monitor we actually have some places especially far eastern greenbrier and eastern pocahontas counties that are now under a moderate drought and especially areas to our east let's take a quick look at that 10 day most of us staying hot humid all the way through the weekend next week a tad cooler but not by much we'll have to